How do you get your GPS to get its freaking minimum satellites in less than half an hour? Well, this is how. Stay tuned. GPSs are very similar to your control and video link in the sense that they use RF to communicate back and forth with satellites to know their position. And in the same way that you can't see anything if someone powers up on the same channel as you, the GPS won't be able to get sats if there's a lot of electrical noise in the environment. And that is why the advertised satellite locking speed of these GPSs are rarely achieved in real life. You have your motors, your ESC, your battery, your GoPro, your VTX, you have all these things that are creating a very busy electrical environment, and your GPS is often the weakest link. And the best way to combat this is not by putting frickin' tinfoil around the GPS wire, which is so annoying when you have to do it, but instead by simply powering the GPS up by itself by soldering it to one of the USB-powered 3.3 or 5-volt pads on your flight controller. That way, when you want to fly, you plug your flight controller into USB, either from a USB power bank or to a computer. Only the flight controller and the GPS power up, and then you just wait 60 or 90 seconds um, to make sure that the GPS has gotten its sats. You plug in your flight battery. You do not unplug this before you plug in your flight battery. You want to plug in your fl flight battery first so that everything is powered now, then you can unplug this. That way the GPS stays powered the whole time. It doesn't have to refine sats if you say unplug this, turn off the GPS, and then plug it back in. So the GPS remains powered the entire time. It gets its sats before everything else comes in to stomp over it. So then most likely it'll be able to keep those min sats and you'll be able to get flying right away.